Welcome back to my channel. I am sharing with you a recipe that I made up. It is called unstuffed pepper pasta. It is so delicious. Here are the ingredients that you would need to make it. I meant to put rotini in and clearly you'll see later I accidentally used penne. We're gonna brown the pork. We'll remove that, drain the fat, then we'll add in the liquid, our noodles, and then we'll add everything else on top of it and it'll be good. So once you have all your ingredients, the first thing you need to do is set your Instant Pot to saute. I keep it on the normal setting and then I am just opening up my entire tube of sausage right into the inner pot. The inner pot is already warm at this point and I'm going to just kind of press the meat down to get it to sear and brown on the, all sides and then I eventually go in there and kind of grind up the meat when it is starting to brown and you keep repeating this process until your sausage is cooked. Um, I'm not going to go into step-by-step -step instruction because I think if you're watching this video you probably know how to brown meat and you can just see it's slowly getting more ground, more browned, and I can't think of any other rhyming words. If your meat is popping a little bit, you can always put the Instant Pot lid on. This is one of my favorite accessories. I will be linking this below on my Amazon. It is affiliate link, but it is so worth the 10, 11, 12 dollars. It fluctuates a little bit, but it's so worth the money. I love this. I got it for Christmas last year, and it has been a very worthwhile accessory for my Instant Pot. Okay, now I'm turning off saute. So I am going to add in just a spoonful of minced garlic and onion. I just want to cook this a little bit with the sausage before I drain all the excess fat. Like I said, it's, I actually turned the Instant Pot off just using the heat that's already in here. It just smells amazing. I am going to add in, I have one and a half cups of water. My chicken bouillon cube has been sitting in that water for a little bit just to soften it. Now I'm going to add in the entire box of penne regate right on top. You want to make sure you flatten out the noodles so they're as level as possible. We're going to add in the two cans of Rotel. I don't drain them. So you can see these cans have a lot of liquid that will add to the casserole, help cook the noodles. We love spicy foods in our house, but I do not recommend doing a hot if you do not want it spicy. Okay, so you can see the noodles aren't covered, so I always like to add less liquid than I need, especially when you add liquid vegetables, frozen or canned, it's going to add a little bit of liquid, and then I just come in with water until my noodles are barely covered, just like that. And that was just about two more cups of water. So I did add an entire pound of noodles, so that's quite a bit of noodles. I'm also adding in an entire 10 ounce bag of frozen peppers. I prefer frozen because it's only $1.25 for pre-chopped. Again, this is gonna give out some liquid when it thaws. Side note, I do change my spoon in between cooking the sausage and then this part. You don't want to add in a raw spoon. And then finally, I am adding in my sausage, onion, and garlic. You can see in between each new layer, I am just flattening it out and trying to be even. So now I add my lid on. Make sure it's set to seal and pressure cook for four minutes and then after the four minutes of pressure cooking I do a quick release. Okay, so it just got done. I'm going to release the steam. Watch out. Okay, so the casserole is ready and I'm excited to see what it looks like. It smells so good. Mmm, yep. Noodles are tender. They're not falling apart, but they're bendy. There's enough liquid in here. It's gonna sit really nicely. I'm gonna let this sit for 15 minutes with the lid on, just not cooking. Just on the keep warm mode. 
but this smells so good. you are not new around here, you may remember that one of my daughters does not like to eat meat and my husband really does not like ground sausage. So me, my middle daughter, and my son were the only ones that ate this dinner. But I was really glad I didn't have to share because this was amazing. I had been like wanting to make this for a few weeks. The idea came to me because stuffed peppers sounded good, but I knew my kids wouldn't eat just a stuffed pepper. So I came up with this meal and it did not disappoint. I have some shaved Parmesan and Romano cheeses. This is from Sam's Club. We don't have a Sam's Club membership, but my in-laws picked this up for me on occasion and I really, really have enjoyed it. I don't want to add it into the casserole because I like having the cold cheese on top and having it barely melt in. The noodles did a good job of softening it and it really mixed in well. My daughter that you can see right here, she is my middle child, she loves, loves, loves sausage dishes, just like her mom. So her and I mow down on this. And like I said, if you use one can of hot Rotel, it is going to be spicy, but it is yummy. And there's my oldest getting in on the action. If you like making pasta in your Instant Pot, I highly recommend that you check out my mac and cheese recipe. This is a recipe that I came up with and I really have enjoyed making. It is a perfect side or if you're like me, make it as a main meal. Put some bacon on top, some black pepper, and you're good to go. That is how I love my mac and cheese. Thanks so much for watching and go check out the mac and cheese.